What's up gamers? I'm Blake Chaos and welcome to Blake is Trash at Fighting Games where usually you can catch me playing fighting games and trying not to be so absolutely ass at them. But I've wanted to dive into a little bit more of this 2XKO, formerly Project L, and learn a little bit more about it. So in my last video, I kind of did a gameplay trailer reaction to their newest video, which was just really announcing the brand new name of the transition from the code name Project L to 2XKO. I don't know why I have to do it that way, but I just do. Now the part about 2XKO that I really wanted to talk about came from going on their website yesterday looking for imagery to make the thumbnail for my last video. So let's hop over there real quick. And it's really this aspect that kept baffling me, this 2v2 team-based fighting game aspect of 2XKO. And I didn't really know what that meant. I assumed when I was watching the previous video when they changed the name from L to 2XKO that it was much more about you know, having a cameo. And so that was the 2v2 aspect where you're piloting potentially two champions back and forth in a 1v1 battle. But then I started looking at some of the content on their website and noticed that they have introducing duo play and then even devs playing duos, which, oh man, there's four people here. We must be really doing 2v2 battles. So it made me think like, how does this actually pan out in a fighting game? I've seen this in the Demon Slayer anime fighter that has much more of this like 2v2 aspect to it, but it does seem much more of like, you're still playing a cameo style character or you're tapping into your second character. Now I will wholeheartedly admit, and this is why this channel is called Blake is Trash at Fighting Games. I am pretty new to the majority of fighting games. And so I don't really know if something like this has been done before and if it has, was it really successful? And so it seems like Riot is taking on this concept of duo play to, I think, bring something new to the genre, make it more attractive, but also, I think, getting more people to play at one time. You got to think about matchmaking of four people at a time versus two. That's really good for any kind of game. So I want to take a look at this older video of theirs that's introducing duo play. Now it is from about six months ago. This is when it was definitely still called Project L and this is on Riot Games' YouTube channel. But I want to go through this to really understand and just give some overall commentary on what I'm excited about and what I'm actually a little bit concerned about when it comes to this game. Because I don't know about y'all, but one reason that I'm very attracted to fighting games is they're hard to play. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of characters, and each character takes a little bit of depth to get into. But I also really enjoy that 1v1 aspect, where a lot of the win or the loss is on you. It's something I've really enjoyed about FPS games like Call of Duty that have solos mode where a lot of the gameplay, you can still get immersed in the BR, but it's on you to make it to the very end and get that win. That's another reason why I really enjoy fighting games is it's a very much a personal growth type of game where you have to continue to learn and get better and really, to be honest, study in order to get, kind of achieve the levels you want to in a fighting game. But anyway, I want to watch this through. I'm probably going to stop at certain points and give commentary, but let's dive in and really understand what 2XKO's duo play is actually going to look like. Hey, everyone. It's our favorite time of year. Sup, Tom? So we thought we'd check in and let y'all know what's happening with 2XKO. From the start of this project, we felt that if we were going to make a fighting game, we needed to bring something new to the genre. So this we're is what I was wondering. Big ideas that is this really the, the new, new thing that they're bringing in? Fans. I'm happy to introduce one of those big bats for you today, which some of you have already suspected. Project I wonder Hell what some of the other big bats are. Game. It's a 2v2 team-based fighting game. This means that teams of two players can face off together in the same match with each player piloting a single champion. So we're building a game where you can play with your friends as well as against them. So this is a really cool concept, of course, where you're actually playing with another person. So there's like a comms aspect of it. And then there's like tagging in and out of each other, I'm assuming. I don't really know how that works and what happens in the case where like you don't ever tag your teammate in. Like if you do random duos, how does this really come together? But I think it's a really interesting concept of like bringing in a kind of like team strategy aspect to trying to play a fighting game together of like swapping each other in and out, the selection and meta game of like selecting two champions that really, really work together. I think they call them champions here. The thing I don't really understand is how like the tagging in and out works. Do you only have to 2v2 people? Uh, Cause like I could imagine that if there's not a lot of people, you don't have friends that play this game, that you could be losing out on some of the experience. And are you at some kind of disadvantage by playing 
you know, with somebody new that you don't know, uh, because I would imagine you would need some kind of ranking system that would help like pair you up with people that are like skilled versus like skilled people. So there's a lot of kind of open questions there, but the concept in this beautiful ass game, <laughs> even in like a beta or, you know, pre alpha state, it just looks like it's going to be absolutely sick. Let me toss it over to Sean to explain how it works. Please do. Click them Damn, buttons. That hurts. Maybe it I does. just handshake and you jump up after. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Okay. Hit the spin. All right, it's gonna be cheap. Are you ready? They did such a good job putting this together. Oh, you like that? <laughs> well, it's, it's just they spent. <laughs> they obviously spent a lot of time like filming and putting all this in. Y'all have no idea how long I've been waiting to talk about this. Nope, I have no this idea. Clock, you tell me. Game designers. Yo, what's up, everyone? Sick. Let's get into it. I Duo love that they're actually involving like, like people who are building this thing. One player controls the champ on stage, and the other waits off screen for their teammate to find the right moment to tag them in. In our last update, we showcased some moment. of our tag mechanics, all of which were designed from the ground up to encourage teamwork. Sharing in victories, defeats, performing combos together, or saving your partner in a clutch moment. I got you. Are Wait, did he just say you could do combos together? Can you imagine the chaos of that? If, if they allow you to play one one player, you're basically going to be learning two characters, which means you're going to be learning double tag team combos. That's insane. Also, there's a wolf in the background that is just partying back there. That's pretty sick. Doing combos as a team seems like a really lit function. Are just some of the new ways you can experience the game as a duo. Project L will support 1v1, 2v2, 2xKO. Okay, I stopped it there and that was a terrible time to stop and make a stupid <laughs> joke, but they did just say there is 1v1, so that's awesome. That makes me feel better because I don't know. It's one of these things, it's why I haven't really dove into Apex Legends that much is because it feels like you have to have a team and unless you go and play ranked, you're not going to be playing with people that are going to want to play together and it's really hard to solo in Apex Legends because it is a very team focused game. Whereas like in Call of Duty Warzone or in Call of Duty Resurgence, you have a lot of people that end up playing solo squads, me included. So there's this aspect of it where yes, it can be team based, but there's the, the ability to finesse teams and things like that. Whereas in Apex Legends, that is very, very hard to do. Now, something like this is super interesting to me, mainly because if you're a solo who's versing duos all the time, I feel like in some ways, unless you're putting in that work and really understanding your duo character that you're playing with, you might be at some kind of disadvantage, especially in this idea of doing, you know, common combos together. Now, having said that, if you're spending your time, like let's say you're spending your time really playing two characters all the time as a solo, you understand the mechanics and how, when's it best time to swap them out, when's the best time to try and combo, and you understand their combos, you actually may work a lot better than a duo team who doesn't know each other or hasn't been playing very long. So I think there's a lot of advantages to playing in either way. And again, I think it's kind of ingenious. I'm sure it's been done before, but Riot's take on this and bringing their legends and their, ch or their legends into this or their champions, I guess they call them. And then taking this and actually, you know, bringing more people into one fighting game match, even if it's just three people and then maximum four, I think that's going to have a lot of value and that's going to make the, you know, draw of the game a lot more interesting, a lot more fun. And it could have really big implications for competitive play where you got these just, you know, 2v2 duos. Two and even 2v1 matchups. So don't worry, solo players. You can still play as a solo tag team fighter and control you, both champs at once. Fight your own battles or bring That's going to be sick, trying to learn two yours. champions at once. I feel like you have to spend a fair amount of time. Is that a chainsaw? No, setup, it's not. Our systems are designed to feel fluid and rewarding for players on stage and off screen. And that starts before you even get into a match. What does that even mean? Before the game starts, each team can choose to customize how their champs play together with something we're calling the fuse system. Wait, what? The fuses you can choose between powerful synergies that change up your duo's playstyle and really allow player expression to shine. I want to talk about one fuse called 2x assist. This allows your team to throw out two assists back to back instead of just one. With each champion having two assists and some of them being chargeable, there is a lot to discover. But you can always change your fuse for the next match to find out what feels right. We're really the excited fuse for all thing the seems really here interesting. And can't that wait seems to like see another come way to be able to advance or at the heart have an advantage design as a solo where you're like able overall. to swap the fuse We know play. it's a difficult design I don't know. to get right. That's a hard thing a lot to really understand time without like make experiencing play it. Something I feel like unique and special for you all to enjoy and master. I'm sure you've got loads of questions, so keep them yeah, close. Because no I have one more thing to tell you all. 
Oh, God. I'm thrilled to say that Project L will have a playable demo at Evo, but you can come try out the game on the show. Okay, so that's super old at this point. Like, this has already happened way back in the past. Uh, I mean, hell, we're all, we're on we're coming up on Japan's Evo in a less than a month at this point. But anyhow, this is really insane. The Fuse thing, I will not lie, I do not 100% understand it. As a solo tag team it fighter. seems like a cool way to make the game more interesting as a, especially as a solo player. We're able to make these selections. So if we take a look back at the fuses, right? So I think these are two of them that they're showcasing. So two X assists, so empower your partner with multiple assist actions. Not really sure what that means. I don't know if that means multiple tag-ins or if they can, you know, jump in and assist you in multiple ways versus just like a stock one way or something like that. That's pretty cool because I would imagine there's gonna be like some synergy between tagging in, comboing, and then assisting you during a move, taking some kind of damage for you or coming in and just doing a quick hit and coming right out versus coming full in and like swapping you out of the game now the double down seems cool too so you're gonna combine your ult with your partners okay so you have ults in this game as well that's really cool makes sense because we're seeing a bunch of meters on screen and i can imagine like you know spending ult and then tagging your teammate in and then like I, i'm assuming that lets you heal and maybe if they're getting hits off and whatnot that can like gain ult for you back or make it so you can come back in with less more health or whatever i don't know ultimately the fuse thing is interesting Interesting. I think again it adds another like layer of complexity here but what I think I'm most excited about is how this is going to grow in a competitive aspect because they talked a little bit about this feeling like tag team wrestling well I think this kind of gameplay and this kind of game style has a lot of opportunity in the competitive scene to bring out some really charismatic characters and people and bring together like awesome 2v2 duos. This is such a sweet and awesome set of ways to make fighting games, I think, more interesting in terms of bringing something new to it. I did have a large hesitation about the 2v2 aspect of it because I couldn't even tell you somebody that I would play a 2v2 style fighting game with. And I'd be concerned with who you get matched up with if you're not communicating well and all that kind of stuff. But the nice thing is you do still have the single player aspect of it. But I just really wanted to kind of take a deeper dive into Project L slash 2XKO uh, because it just seemed really sick looking at it yesterday. And I was really excited to sign up for the playtesting. And I hope we see it at the end of 2024 in terms of playtesting. And I can't wait for it to come out in 2025. And for them to, I'm assuming, to reveal more legends or champions are going to drop um, that initial roster. Because even on the website itself just to take one last deep dive into something before I cut this video. Like if you look here, like, okay, we got four that are revealed. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially eight more back here. Uh, if you open this in inspect mode, you can see how many spots there are right there. I'm sure there are leaks at this point about what ch what characters there might be. I've chatted enough shit about this for long enough. I'm really excited about it. The duo mode thing both brought some really interesting aspects, some concerning aspects, uh, but I'm super excited to see where this game goes as it rolls out and to see what happens in the competitive scene for it and you know the types of matchups and types of personalities we get playing fighting games. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you're super stoked for Project L slash or what legend you could see yourself playing. Personally, if they don't bring out the red-headed pirate, my heart is going to be broken. But anyways, that's enough of my talking about fighting games for today. As always, thank you for watching this video, and remember, the only way forward is to never quit.